Hey guys, this is Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So today it's another character designing session. I haven't done this in a while, uh, mainly because I got sort of distracted by other art materials and I had a lot of ideas going around, but I'm slowly getting through my characters. So today we're doing my original, original character, as you can see, it's Serial Nere Talus. <laughs> it's a little weird saying his name out loud since I've never really talked about him to anyone except my best friend and that's just through chats and so yeah so this guy's a lancer prodigy um in that universe that we made up and yeah he's at this point as of recording he's already in a high position he has a family and all that jazz and he's a pretty well-developed character and i've had them i've had him since Oh man, it's been a it's been a long time. I've had him since huh maybe high school, so that's been seven, eight years ago. <laughs> man, I'm old. <laughs> uh yeah. I am, yeah, I've had him for approximately seven to eight years. Maybe even more. I can't really fully remember. But yeah, he um his original design was really this. Um, he hasn't really changed from when I first thought of him. He's always had this blonde hair. Uh, his hair is a lot paler and like a lot yellower, though that was because I was inexperienced and I didn't really properly understand color theory. He's always had these really bright, light, almost ice blue colored eyes, and that's a feature I've been trying to keep consistently. He's always had purple tips on his hair, not because he was edgy or I was edgy when I was younger. Okay, maybe I was, but um, the idea there was I read somewhere or a friend or something told me that oh, purple or violet is a really good complementary color with yellow. And I didn't really understand that at the time. So I put yellow and violet together and just like, you know, came up with that. So <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. And I'll probably show in the preview at the very end how I first implemented it, but I somewhat understand color theory a lot better now. But since I've had him for so long and all of my art piece with him has always had him with the purple tips and it's sort of a defining feature, I couldn't really let it go. So the solution was to make the purple tips look better. So that was achieved by not making it solid purple and just sort of blended it out with his blonde hair. And since this is like a magic fantasy world, it's natural. Like the idea was after a certain length, his hair starts turning purple. So he keeps his hair relatively short or, or it's only confined to the tips of his hair. But I don't really have a, an explanation for why that happens. It's just a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's just a thing. So I'm redesigning his outfit to be a bit more um, logical, I guess. Because originally he had a lot of like straps and he had like, well he still does now, but he had like the pants and the polo under, then he had the vest and the cloak, and a ton of other stuff and really bad color combinations. <laughs> so I'm, re I'm redesigning him now to be a bit more put together than his original design that I've been using for years and years. And I really miss drawing this character. So yeah, that's how I ended up doing this. So one thing I noticed is that I've gotten really good, or maybe I just think that, but I've gotten better at drawing folds and clothes, and that's something I've been trying to improve at since quite some time ago. I've had problems before, like my clothes tend to look very straight and ironed or even like, not really ironed, it was just straight and the folds would look very unnatural and too perfect or rather too stiff. So the technique that I was doing with this is what was I just sort of drew the shape, the outline, added a little bit of the major folds and then let the color and the brush or, or my hand do the other folds and then work it from there and that turned out to look a lot more natural and 
normal looking than what I used to do. I've also been practicing or training myself to use highlights a lot more in my drawings. As you can see, it really does a lot with how it looks. I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. I really like this base layer of the polo and the pants. It makes him look so like, boy, yes. And then, yeah, so I added the vest. And before, it was just like a plain black vest with like stripes on it. I edited that to make it look a little bit more detailed and it would look pretty good without the coat on. So yeah, I'm adding some like ribbing here just for like extra detail because that's also something I've been trying to improve with my designs. I tend to go for more, like I, I tend to go for a lot of layers, but the items on the layers aren't very detailed. Like usually it's just like a, a, a plain, like if this was me a few months ago or a few years ago, I would have just left it like a plain straight vest. But what I'm trying to do now is add more details to that, make it look more embellished. You know, not just a plain thing. And I think that's really improving with... It's really improving how my designs look. Like a little bit more detail here, but not too much. Just like trying to find the right balance. It's something I've been trying to do more. So yeah. So this was actually a pretty short, I guess. I mean, it's a pretty short stream. I did the body on one day, which was like a couple of hours too, but well, I might upload a video for that since it was pretty much an anatomy study at the same time. And then this one took me, based on the video count, it's uh, 3 hours or almost 4 hours and a half, which is actually pretty short. My old live streams when I was a few years back, when I was a bit younger, they were actually really normally 3 hours, but that would sacrifice a lot of detail, a lot of color mixing for speed. So lately, for the past couple of months, I've been spending a lot more time in streams, so it would be like several sessions of like 3 hours, 2 hours, it would add up to 6 hours sometimes. So this 3 hour stream is actually kind of rare nowadays. But that actually also still makes me pretty happy since in 3 hours, I was able to achieve quite a lot and I didn't really sacrifice anything with this particular drawing. I made sure that I did all the details, I made sure that the shadows and highlights are nicely done. And yeah, so I guess I'm improving slowly. Slowly but surely. So his design, since it's, it's an old design, I don't really remember my peg or my theme with him. I just sort of wanted a cloak or a coat that was white and then I added these details thing. So since he's a bit of a general now in the army, in my fictional, in our fictional world, um, this more decorated look looks a lot more suited to him now. And yeah, it's meant to be a uniform of sorts that he can wear in the training grounds or something, or even the battle, I mean, why not? It's not really protection, but he's a lancer, so less armor is better. <laughs> but yeah, it's meant to look a bit formal, like not too casual, not too gimmicky, just nice. <laughs> so it was a fantasy world, but the aesthetic wasn't really put down. It was supposed to be like, you know, the normal fantasy-ish peg, but my designs in S Younger was leaning more towards a modern look. So I've been trying to merge that old look, maintain some of those elements, but still make it look a little bit more fantasy-esque. So that's what I'm trying to do. So we're nearing the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I might upload me join his body since that was actually pretty it was a pretty good learning experience and yeah so i'll be showing the preview now here's the old version like the three years thing and this is the sign now 
Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.